Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to service your transmission on this 2005 Ford Focus with the 2-liter 4-cylinder engine and the automatic transmission. And the items you'll need for this is a new transmission filter kit from 1AAuto.com, 8mm socket and ratchet, a pry bar, a razor blade, a torque wrench, jack and jack stands, and transmission fluid. Your transmission oil pan is located right here. And you can see lining the edge of it is this series of 8mm bolts. And you want to go ahead and remove all but a couple on this side and a couple on this end. Just leave two on each end and you want to loosen those just a little bit. And we'll fast forward as Don does this. And you can see we left these four bolts just loosened. And they're loosened about a third of the way. And we loosen them up a little bit more on the front to about halfway. And then using a pry bar, you want to just pry down the front of the pan and just let it drain into a drip pan. When the draining slows down, you just want to remove those four bolts. And then pull your pan down and drain the rest of it into your drip pan. Next, pull the sensor free from your filter and pull the filter down and off. Again, make sure your drip pan is underneath this. Now remove the magnet from your transmission pan and clean it off. Just set it aside for now, and then clean the rest of the inside of your pan. Now using a razor blade, scrape off the old gasket around the edge of your pan. And you want to make sure you get all of it so that the edge of the pan is nice and flat. And do the same thing up here. Place your magnet and put the new gasket into place. Take your new transmission filter and line up this pin with that hole and push the filter back up into place and then put your sensor back into that bracket. Now put a couple bolts, one on each end of the pan to just help hold the gasket into place. And now feed your transmission pan back up and into place and tighten those two bolts. And we'll just fast forward as Don replaces the rest of those 8mm bolts. And then you want to just torque each of these transmission pan bolts to about 12 to 14 foot pounds. Pull out your transmission dipstick and using a funnel replace your transmission fluid.
Then replace your dipstick. You want to check your transmission fluid with the vehicle running. And after you've filled it preliminarily, make sure you warm up the car, have it in park, and check and fill your transmission to the correct level. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.